Sorry. <laughs> it was like it wasn't going to go live. I was freaking getting ready to turn the Wi-Fi off. Anyway, I just did like the amazing photo shoot. The cutest pictures. But I'm just going to do a little bit. I don't know why they try to get in there. I think it looks like a platform to them. Oh, I'm getting more of them now. Oh, that's going to be my next video. All of them riding in little cars. It's just like a little platform, that's all. All right, but I don't want them in there because I want to get them over here. So. The props are just giving you. <laughs> the props are just giving you more chances for success. Okay, hang on. Let me go get the little footstool. Cutest damn dog ever. It is. It is the cutest dog ever. For whatever reason, putting my fingers like that. If you said, oh, it's my new hoodie. I can wear it to dinner tonight. If you said, that's, yes, that's how I dress when I go to dinner. Oh, hi, Rachel. Yeah, I'm not going to suddenly get dressed up to go to dinner. I'm just wearing a new hoodie. If you said new brand new. No, new to me. <laughs> it might be a retro punk rock hoodie. Anyway, so if you said, what is my dynamic? It is like advertising. I'm selling this subtext. It's just like me. If I saw a commercial right now for some restaurant that it looked, I, I might say, oh my God, I want to go there based on what I saw. They're not forcing me to come in there. I'm going of my own free will. It's, it's, but they're subconsciously. I'm going to go find this thing. I don't know if you're in my group, Rachel, but Back in the, like the 40s, at movies, they used to like take every 15 frames or something and put a picture of a Coca-Cola. It wasn't visible to the naked eye, but your subconscious could see it. Next thing, the people are going out in the lobby, they'd put popcorn, soda, whatever. Next thing, these people are out there buying this crap. If you said, what happened? Uh, it's like just understanding dog behavior. It's just, if, if you said, the only people, it's for just people that are just really into it. Yeah, you'd have to be really into it to want to be in that group. <laughs> it's all dogs all day, all 24-7. Okay, this little puppy, I just, he just has something called a default down. He lays down because that worked very early. I can do the... But the most important part of this is I'm just stepping off after that. I'm not hanging around. I'm saying that's a very small. Oh, hi, Kristen. Remember the little puppy? I said the cutest photo shoot. This thing has a default down. It follows me around and lays down. I want you to start doing that with all your fosters, Kristen. This is, a, this is helping these dogs be successful. If you said why, you know I work with a lot of Okay, you do training too. Good, good girl. You're going to love this stuff. Um, but listen to me, Kristen. I've learned, and you know how many rescues I work with and how many of these problems. If you can give the new people the cognitive bias that the dog is smart by them being able to get it to do something, it has a better chance of success. Not, oh, it's been abused. It's blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's just destined to fail. You know what I mean? If you can get it to do something, but this is what this puppy does. It's Rachel, just, and you can do this with all of them too. If you said, what is doing it? It's a suggestion. It's a subliminal suggestion. It's not even really conscious of it. It's body is saying counterintuitive to what you'd think. Just laying down actually gets you treats. You're training your body. And if you said, well, give me an example. You don't get up every morning, wake up and say, oh, okay. 
I have to go to work. Now I have to get up out of my bed. I have to get in the shower. I have to call my hair. You just get up and do all these things. You're just, you just get up and you do all the things without thinking about it. You're not thinking, okay, how do I brush my teeth? I take the toothbrush. I go up and down. <laughs> you, know what I, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's habit. So now I'm just going to go towards the, see if I can make a little metal sound. I'm here with my zipper. Tiny peanut. The most important part is going away, though. If you said, no, 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 at work, whenever I go to pick up my check, they say, hugs galore, hugs and hugs and hugs. <laughs> I'd go, oh, my God. I'd say, just can you just direct my deposit my check? If picking up my check is going to lead to hugs and hugs and hugs galore. <laughs> so, look, I made the little metal sound, though. I was able to do that. doesn't go all I have to do is go like that I don't know why okay I'm just gonna do this real quick because I got to get ready because I'm going to dinner tonight if you're there Mandy we're going to Norwoods so anyway this puppy I've been working with these puppies since three weeks old and if you said what is what should this tell us that when these dogs end up jumping and doing all these terrible things the people taught them to do it if this puppy can learn this all right watch so I can just do the quick Oh, I got the look. He already goes on a platform. Be careful. So you need to get a platform. If you said, what's the platform? The platform is the, um, oh, don't worry, Kristen, you'll be there. If you said looking at your delicious food, but unable to eat it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, I got to text Brecht. I'm going to start getting ready here in a minute, but, um, you know, the dog believes it's acting. It is acting of its own free will. I'm just suggesting all these things, which lead to success. If every suggestion I gave you, which it will, it, which it will, Rachel, you'll see about the training led to success. You would keep doing it. You wouldn't say she's forcing me. Oh, he's over there getting a stick. Okay. So I need my metal. I need my metal. trick little kids too so okay so hang on all right let me just do a little bit with the sunglasses we've already been on nature walk all of it all right but look now mommy's gonna sit on this this is actually just a little de facto platform I'm gonna put a baby right here. Oops, uh -oh. he puts it right in my hand he's trying to kind of get on the platform too he said you might be better off to get him up there I might <laughs> he's beyond cute Put them on, it would be so cute. He'd be cuter. Ah, he put it right in my hand. Anyway, if you're there, Janice, these little platforms are perfect for puppies. Ah, see how perfect it worked out? Put it right there. Oh God, so cute. <laughs> and I've got that boundary, so he's not gonna go, he's gonna be less prone to go forward. Remember Kristen earlier, he was like going in the corner a little bit and stuff. He's less prone to go forward. And if it's over there, he's gonna have to make him more of a, <laughs> you little peanut. He's got that default down, down though. I mean, it's, it's so convenient. It's just, a, it, if you said, well, how would you describe it to people? All right, watch. I can make them lay down by going like this.
You've got to be willing to wait. If you said, should you have just kept saying, hurry, 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 do it. No. His body was taking over. His mind was going, what's over there? But his body is sort of like if you're just really tired. You probably do this too, Kristen, when you have animals. And I just, I always think that I let the, left the puppy outside and then I laid down and then I fell asleep for like three hours. If you, no, I never did. But, you know, if you just said, I just want to just... I'll just close my eyes for 10 minutes. I mean, you just go into a reflex and then you just, you know, you fall asleep. But what a chill dog. I mean, for service, if this is a child's pet or child's service, you're going to have to have this. A child's going to have zero ability to command a dog, regardless of what people say. A child's got, a 35-year-old men can't even do it. But he's watching everything I do. He's watching my every minute. Well, but remember, Kristen, I started this so young. And all I gotta do is go back over here. He's watching everything I do. He's already trying to play with this, so he'll just as likely come over there and get that. Ah, you little peanut. All right, he's probably gonna lay back down. And this bag's too crinkly. Look at his little tail, Kristen, look at his little tail. at his own tail. Your name is a Kristen. <laughs> I don't know if you watched me way back then, but the original default down, somehow if you just kind of like sat there like that and then your arms got tired, they would do it. Look, now he's even got the chin down. And the bent paw. That's what this is. If they see another dog laying like this, they're not saying to them, this, this thing's getting ready to get up. Hardly. Hardly. Yeah, but I'm always moving away. That's why when I went away and couldn't see me, my God, Chris, he's perfect. I could get the most perfect pictures of him because he just kept laying down. I mean, it's like if it's, it really is. It's, it's like pu perfection puppy. It really is. You little peanut. It's, you know, if you're, if you're conditioning for a companion, you see how easily imprinted this behavior is, Kristen. That's why people can't get rid of jumping. It gets imprinted early. It persists, it persists, it persists. They continue to react to it. It doesn't go away. They don't give it an alternative behavior. They might say, get down, get down, get down, get down. You've seen it. Get down, get down, get down. As they flap their arms around, next thing the dog's flapping its arms around. <laughs> you little peanut. It's very exciting work. I'm glad you found me, Kristen, because it is, girl. I think you would admit it's life-changing. You've got to think in the thread, if a dog wants to do something, you can't stop him. So your job is make it, it, it you know, he's not going to stop laying down because now it's already worked so much. All right, let me see if I can get him to get the chin down. But he's like a little kid. He's like a little kid, Kristen. You know how like they want to try to stay awake, but they're kind of like, you can kind of see that affect. Like he's trying to like, oh, anything, anything, looking around. Whoops. <laughs> he's trying to get comfortable and be fell. <laughs> <laughs> fell off the edge. It's not as big as your other one. I'm taking long steps, but I'm jumping to Brazil. 
Yeah. You know, I'm not taking. Oh, he loves this. Oh, he loves to go on these little obstacles over here. You little Mr. Peanut. I love you. You see, I'm not petting the dog at all. You little Mr. Whoops. Uh oh. All right, now you know he's going to lay down. Oh my God, he's so cute. All right, so we can get the chin down. He said, "What's? It would be better if I had the watch. These don't make as much noise, but he, <laughs> you precious angel, put it right in my hand." It's the cutest damn dog ever. All right, listen, you guys. I gotta go start walking dogs. So I guess I can. I gotta just. I gotta tell Brett to pick me up early. I don't even think I have to work tomorrow though. So. I know. I mean, it's it's, and it's creating a certain state of mind too. The opposite would be me roughing it up, riling it up every time it sees me. It's like that guy George Kristen that used to work here. Just even thinking about the guy gets my nervous system stressing out. Am I wrong? You, you know people like that. Just even thinking of having to deal with what their energy coming at you is going to be doing to your psyche. Oh, like he's trying to go on the footstool. You little Mr. Peanut. He's got so many little behaviors now. My God, it's the cutest damn dog ever. It's the cutest damn dog ever. All right, listen, you guys, I gotta go, but anyway. Yes, Rachel, yes, I want you to, just people need to say to themselves, physiology controls psychology. If people are upset, you sit there and tell them, take a deep breath, take a deep breath, change your physiology to change your psychology. Oh my God, you're the worst. Okay, sorry, you fell. But that's, that's how I want you to think of it. If what you're doing, and this is where people go wrong, I'm gonna give it a command, and then I'm gonna give it a correction, and then it's, if it doesn't do it, I'm gonna give it a correction. Pretty soon when it hears the command, I know what's next. It would be like if somebody always criticized what you wore, always criticized what you wore, and then their question was, oh, what are you wearing? And knowing that the next thing was gonna be a criticism of what it was, you know what I mean? So that's what ends up happening if you're not careful. So, but that's how you want to think of it. If you're upset over, okay, take a deep breath, take a deep breath, you know, but. <laughs> you know, this puppy is nine weeks old. I mean, we're not talking about, you know. Climb back up there. Oh my God, it's like the cutest dog ever. He just winked at me. He sees every little move I make though. You saw that, he saw that hand drop. He saw the hand drop. All right, listen, I gotta go. I just see Brex texting me, so. Anyway, it's all very, very exciting work. 
Yes, Rachel, this stuff is, if you said I've never seen anything like it, it's it's very cutting edge. It's using a phone pager to communicate. It's, it's but it's applying it if you, you know, so if you said, so what if I just take any methodology and start using a phone pager? That's like saying I have a shitty relationship with somebody and I'm going to give them a text phone. Uh, well, I'm going to give them a cell phone and we'll keep texting. You're still going to have a shitty relationship. It's just going to be the shitty relationship is now going to be remote. You know what I mean? So it's... I just I can't even stop myself. I just keep training. You know, it's it's your relationship building. I'm building a relationship with him. But everything is going great. It's not. I I like everything. There's some things I don't react to at all. Oh, he's back over there. Oh, he's trying to get up there. You little peanut. If you tried to make them get up on these platforms, you would inadvertently create like an opposition reflex. I can show you video after video of people doing it, pulling them up there. You'll never get this puppy to not go on a platform. You, if you said, I don't want that. I, if somebody said, I don't want that, I, it's too late. It's actually already too late. It's going to do it forever now. That was the tell. Yeah, but if, it, if the dog was for service, you're going to a restaurant to eat, you're going to get the thing all the way laying down and chin down, and then be able to say, that's what we need. be able to sit anybody down though because you're creating a scene but he doesn't think I'm selling him anything oh my god all right you guys I have got to go I gotta go get ready I can jump in the shower and stuff but I'll be back